Russian Mercedes-Benz received the world's first special permit to operate a VP4 selected E-Class vehicles without a safety driver in real life, mixed parking garage traffic at the Mercedes-Benz Museum in Stuttgart. Equipped with the appropriate pre-installation for the intelligent park pilot, the new Mercedes-Benz S-Class is now the first production vehicle to feature AVP technology, which enables it to park without a driver. However, this is conditional on the future availability of parking garages with the appropriate infrastructure, as well as on national legislators giving AVP the green light. This makes the Mercedes-Benz S-Class the world's first vehicle to feature a pre-installation for an SA Level 4 automated driving function, the second highest level of automation. With automated valet parking, Mercedes-Benz is demonstrating that driverless parking will soon be possible, Hafner says. To facilitate this new one-touch parking function, a spacious drop-off and pick-up area will be set up directly behind the entrance to the P6 parking garage, giving AVP users a convenient place to leave their vehicles. As they comfortably make their way to the terminal and check in, their S-Class will park itself in the basement, guided by information from the infrastructure technology. In other words, users no longer need to worry about maneuvering or having to squeeze out of their cars when the space they have finally found proves to be too narrow. Automated valet parking really enhances our passengers' comfort and convenience and saves them time, especially when they're in a hurry and just want to drop their car off quickly at the airport, says Walter Schofer, management spokesman for Flyuhafen Stuttgart GmbH. For the test phase that is about to start, P6 will initially have two spaces available for self-parking vehicles. More spaces will be added when driverless parking becomes standard as planned in the future and as demand increases. Automated parking to drive down the airport stress, Bosch, Mercedes-Benz, and the parking garage operator Epcoa want to introduce driverless and fully automated parking at Stuttgart Airport in the future. To this end, the automated valet parking AVP system co-developed by Bosch and Mercedes-Benz is to be made ready for commercial operation. The new Mercedes-Benz S-Class is already geared up to accommodate it as the world's first production vehicle to feature the technology required for future infrastructure-based AVP. As an option, customers can buy the appropriate pre-installation for what the company calls the Intelligent Park Pilot which makes the S-Class capable of receiving a smartphone command to drive itself to a reserved parking space. With the new S-Class, it's not just driving that's a luxury, but parking as well, says Dr. Michael Hafner, head of automated driving at Mercedes-Benz AG. The P6 parking garage at Stuttgart Airport will serve as the pilot for the planned commercial automated parking service. Here, the companies will test how the vehicle technology on board the S-Class interacts with the intelligent Bosch infrastructure and APCOA flow, the digital platform provided by the parking garage operator Epcoa. This platform makes the whole parking process ticketless and cashless. Epcoa, Bosch, Mercedes-Benz, and Stuttgart Airport want to work together to make parking fully automatic, says Christoph Hartung member of the executive management of Connected Mobility Solutions at Bosch. In the airport parking garage, preparations are currently underway to begin piloting the planned automated valet parking service. The aim of this trial with new S-Class vehicles at Stuttgart Airport is to ensure that interactions between the vehicle, infrastructure technology, and parking garage operator run smoothly and are optimized for the customer. The all-new seamless Mercedes-Benz multifunction steering wheel with touch-sensitive technology gives you our most intuitive and luxurious wheel design yet. There are several models currently available on Mercedes-Benz vehicles. Although they may look slightly different, they share the same technology and functionality. The touch control buttons can automatically recognize where your finger is to help you comfortably access a range of connected features and assistance systems. Now, let's show you how it all works. The left side of the steering wheel controls the instrument cluster, or cockpit display features. The center touch control lets you use swiping and scrolling gestures. Then, press to select various driving features on the instrument cluster display.
to the left, the back button lets you jump back to a previous menu, and the home button will take you to the main functions menu. The buttons below can help you control the cruise control and active distance assist Tistronic features. To turn the cruise control system on or off, touch the bottom right button. Then use the center touch control to set the speed you would like. Increase or decrease the speed by either clicking incrementally or by sliding your finger to make a larger change in speed. The cancel button on the bottom left disengages the system and the resume button above will re-engage the system to your last inputted speed setting. Lastly, the Distance Assist Distronic button on the right can help you set the distance when cruising, which can be adjusted by clicking through the various distances. Now, the right-hand side of the steering wheel can help you control the in-car media features. You'll see a very similar layout with back and home buttons, as well as the center button, which will let you click and swipe through various menus on the center display. The back button takes you to the previous menu, and the home button will return you to the main menu. Below, the phone button lets you place phone calls. And the end phone call button lets you end your call. In the center, a volume control button lets you swipe and slide to control volume levels. And just press at the bottom to mute. And press again to unmute. To use voice control, simply click the voice control button and speak your command. Take me home. Please proceed to the highlighted route. And finally, the Favorites button, which can pull up previously saved favorite settings. The intuitive design and touch-sensitive controls of the all-new Mercedes-Benz steering wheel puts a world of smart features in your hands. Mercedes-Benz has continued to make improvements in creating that ideal cabin environment. Intuitive features with innovations to back them up help you easily navigate your climate control systems. New features make it easier than ever to help you find and keep that balance of cabin temperature and airflow. Whether it's hard keys or a touchscreen, our latest climate controls are laid out the same way, with dual controls for driver and passenger so they can have their own desired comfort levels. And with voice control, the system can recognize which seat the command is coming from and adjust accordingly. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Warm me up. I'm increasing the temperature to 79 degrees. New three-step buttons help regulate the airflow from each individual vent, as well as touch buttons to incrementally adjust the fan speed. Auto mode makes finding that ideal temperature intuitive. Simply select your desired temperature and hit the auto button. It will control the temperature coming out of the vents to ensure the cabin achieves and maintains the desired temperature and the blower speed can be independently adjusted by the user. For example, if you wanted to cool it down quickly on a hot day. Now, let's talk a little bit about some of the other features and benefits the system has to keep the cabin air safe, clean, and fresh. On select models, our filtration system contains a layer of active carbon, which can help absorb odors from the outside air before they enter the cabin. Our filters also carry the eCarf certification for being allergen friendly, which can reduce airborne allergens and dust particles down to 0.3 microns in size. In addition to filtration, the air balance ionization and perfume atomizer feature is another way to help keep your Mercedes-Benz smelling fresh. Another interesting feature is electrical AC compressors, which regulate the pre-entry, preconditioning, and maintaining of the climate during the eco start-stop function while the engine is not running at a red light. So, now there can be less interruptions in your daily drive and maintaining a comfortable climate. With the most intelligently designed Mercedes-Benz climate control system yet, you now have fresh air any way you want it. Mercedes-Benz has been helping you get from A to B for more than 100 years. And with the latest augmented reality technology, we've taken it to a whole new level. Using the Mercedes-Benz onboard cameras and GPS location data, the live view from the front of the car is overlaid with important information, graphics, as well as audio cues to help you find your way. Turn right onto Longwood Drive. Street names and arrows are superimposed over the live view, giving you real-time helpful details. House numbers, points of interest, and even a destination marker can guide you all the way to your arrival location. You have reached your destination. If you wish to adjust or customize the settings or features of the active route guidance system, they can be found under the advanced settings in the navigation menu. For more information on this, check your owner's manual or ask your local authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer for help. 
While a route is active, the augmented reality can display those functions with graphic overlays in the head-up display. Active Distance Assist Distronic can project virtual distance elements to help you track the distance of the vehicle ahead. And Active Lane Keep Assist graphics can let you know when the system is helping to keep you in your lane. Remember, these are only an aid. You're still responsible for the safe operation of your vehicle. With Mercedes-Benz Augmented Reality, we've taken some of the stress out of your trip. Now sit back and enjoy the ride. My name is Lars Wehmeyer. I used to be the market manager for India for two years before I moved on to become the product manager of our beautiful new S-Class. So I'm very, very pleased and proud to be with you today in this new kind of format uh, as a stream here from our test grounds. My time as a market manager helped me to understand and learn quite a bit about India and I was able to travel to India for several occasions. And I'm very happy to say that I also, at least in the beginning, was still part of putting together the business case of bringing the brand new S-Class to you in India. So I know that you guys are very much looking forward to our new S400D formatic and the S450 formatic. Of course, as I'm today here in Germany, I'm going to be showing you a left-hand drive car. The S-Class is our most luxurious, our most high-tech vehicle in our portfolio. And model range 223, once again, is setting new standards and new benchmarks within the industry. We have combined a high-tech vehicle with luxury and comfort to bring our customers, their drivers, and everyone traveling in the vehicle a very unique experience when they are in our new S-Class. Let's start our tour of the brand new S-Class right here at the front. The most significant feature right here are probably our new digital light headlamps. They come with amazing technology which allow for a total of 2.6 million pixels in total which increase resolution even further to what we know from the past and of course, the S-Class comes with its own signature design once again. As you know, in the past, we had the three eyebrows that indicated the S-Class. Now it has become three light dots, which indicate the S-Class immediately at night. If we move down even further below, you can see that this car here is showing some really sporty front apron. And this is because the vehicle shows our new AMG line, which is the exact specification that you guys will see on the launch edition for India as well. This is the AMG line, which comes with a sporty front wing. And of course, we have the classic big S-Class grill on the front with the star in the center on the top. When we come around to the side, the most prominent feature are probably our new flush door handles, which seamlessly integrate into the new, very clean side design. And they always come with the Keyless Go package. When we move all the way to the back, you can, on the one hand, see the beautiful 20-inch wheels, which come with the AMG line. On the other hand, there's one more feature, which you cannot see right now, that I want to tell you about. That is our new rear axle steering. It helps us in two different kind of scenarios. On the one hand, the rear wheels can follow the front wheels to give the car more stability in high speed curves. On the other hand, the rear tires can counter the front ones to give the car very small turning circle in parking situations. When we come all the way around the back, it's probably the biggest surprise in terms of design on the new S-Class because for the first time in a very, very long time, we have horizontal rear lights and something that's even longer in the past is the fact that they are actually split tail lights the last time this was done i wasn't even born but what these split tail lights allow us to do is to give the car an even larger boot by increasing it even more compared to its predecessor and giving it the largest boot in its segment we are now on the interior of the new s class and also here, you can immediately see that this is the AMG line because you see the new AMG line steering wheel with a flattened bottom and its very specific set of controls on the steering wheel. Additionally, in this very specific car, we have our new Nepa leather, which can immediately be recognized by the beautiful cross stitching. The center console is now a big touch screen, which 
features our newest generation MBUX system. Combined to that is a fully digital driver display, um, which also gives the driver the most important information he requires while driving. The MBUX system has become even more advanced than it was in the past. You can fully individualize both screens to your personal taste. The central touchscreen comes in OLED technology and is touch sensitive, of course. You can then, of course, store these settings. And to store these, you have your own personal profiles. And we have given you a bunch of new ways to enter these profiles. So for example, below the screen, we do have a fingerprint sensor, which allows you to enter your personal profile. You can also do it via speech recognition if you wish to, or very classically by picking your picture and your name from the screen. And this idea of maximum individualization and choosing whichever way you want to control the vehicle is most convenient to you is paramount within the whole car. So I can, of course, use the touch screen if I wish to. If I don't, I can also use the touch control buttons on the steering wheel. And if I don't even like that, I can always use speech control and gesture control to control many functions of the vehicle. We have now switched seats to the rear cabin of the S-Class. And this is traditionally, of course, where it becomes even more spacious, luxurious and relaxing. To give you this very special feeling in the rear, we have, of course, once again included our chauffeur package. We have the executive rear seats, if you wish. And we, of course, have our massage functions, which we have in the front, also in the rear. But also the rear has become more techy than it was in the past, which you can see because there is three screens with me here in the rear cabin. We have the two MBUX screens of the rear seat entertainment system, which have become touch screens, and we have a completely new tablet in the rear center console to control the whole systems and also control your seat settings if you wish to. But the rear cabin has also become safer by a very new innovation for the rear passengers, which is the rear airbag, which is included in the back of the front seats and it folds out to take care of the rear passengers when it is required. And lastly, relaxation is of course also about sound. And here we have taken the experience even further, coming from the 3D Burmester surround sound system in the last generation S-Class, we have now upped it once more to the 4D surround sound system. Now you might be wondering what is that fourth dimension that we're talking about? Well, this is the first time that you can not only hear the music, but you can actually feel it by Excitus, which we have added into the backrests of all four seats on the vehicle so that you have sound massaging you if you want it. So, as you've seen, there is a lot to discover about the new S-Class and honestly speaking, I could probably talk to you for hours on end. And sitting here in the rear, I'm also very comfortable doing it and I don't really want to leave. Nevertheless, even while exiting the car, while leaving, the S-Class still takes care of me. With our new active ambient lighting, it can warn me also in the rear if someone is approaching or coming by the car in my blind spot. But right now, everything's clear, so meet you once again on the outside.